Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial and this time I want to show you how to uh, work with CiviCore uh, tool but um, the tool that we are going to use uh, is named as B-Rail uh, Curve tool now this is a very interesting tool because um, uh, you probably found, will find it uh, pretty much uh, useful for you to uh, create some all all also all kinds all some kind uh, of shapes <laughs> sorry uh, so um, let's see what we can do with it and what does it give us first of all let's go over shading smooth wireframe as usual and I want to show you what what this is uh, mean the B rail curve tool or just named as B-Rail but it's used for uh, curves so let's for instance say we want to create a shape okay um, just for the demonstration of it uh, sake of uh, giving you an idea uh, let's say we want to create a shape like not like a cube but you know a shape like this but that has some curve to it okay like here you know it has some nice curve following uh, I don't know what it is, let's say you know something like that so it has some kind of flow of curve from top to down and it should be like more uh, of an um, <coughs> smooth uh, area you know um, but whatever this is just a quick uh, explanation of what we are going to do so let's begin uh, let's first change to four view by clicking here you can also press spacebar to switch to four view and when you want to when you choose one of those you like to put your mouse cursor over one of those views and press the spacebar in order to expand it so we will start with the side view and let's take our curve uh, CV curve tool so go over create CV curve tool and I want to draw a line uh, like that okay from here one point here one point there okay that way Uh, just for the example so this is the first curve and now let's say the upper part of this uh, you know um, shape will be uh, can be the same okay uh, as this curve so we can just duplicate this curve control D and bring it up here now I will switch to perspective view I don't want this to be at the same position in the middle axis I just first of all bring them to here and let's bring this one to somewhere here <coughs> a little bit down here and now we already have the you know like we can grab those two and imagine the uh, the shape as it goes like this you know like this wave but we also want to uh, uh, choose in what uh, what will be the curve of this uh, shape here in between you know like that so um, what we will do we will use the front view probably first no first let's uh, begin with this one um, I want to create another curve, so CV curve tool, and hold down the C key. Okay, it snaps the two vertices, and click and hold and drag somewhere on this line. You see, it follows uh, the same curve while I'm uh, clicking and holding the C and the left mouse button, and I want to snap it over here. Okay. So when it snaps over here, this is the limit, you release and then switch to 4 view 
and we will go over the front view expand it using the spacebar and now we want the flow of this curve we want to draw it so I'm drawing it um, that way okay I will do something uh, you know a little bit uh, strange now somewhere here I want this curve to be um, you know to uh, oh basically I should have shoes I will undo a few steps I want this uh, this curve to meet here okay at the highest point of this curve uh, so I will do something like this hit the spacebar to bring it back to four view and back to this perspective view and now I will hold on the C again click somewhere on this curve and just to make sure I will see I will click and drag it so I can see it's really snapped to this curve and snap it to ear and release press enter now this curve will be used as uh, the uh, you know the curve shape of uh, the the thing that will uh, bridge uh, those two okay so um, as I said uh, we are going to learn the B rail uh, tool so those two will be uh, some kind of rail for this curve to be uh, stretched on or to uh, be created on top of those so first of all what you do you select this curve and go over uh, surface menu surfaces go over surfaces and choose the b-rail b-rail one tool okay click on it and then immediately choose the this um, curve and then this curve and then it will create the shape see and it's taking in mind also to do the same uh, flow of this curve in between those two so basically this is really much it uh, from here all you left to do is uh, basically go over edit nerves uh, reverse uh, I think reverse or rebuild surface no uh, reverse surface yeah you can reverse surface direction and then just press F8 once or twice and you can go over modify convert nerves to polygon click on this uh, little box here uh, by default the reset the the options will be triangles and standard fit now usually when you model in Maya and in order to maintain the topology and everything you might want to uh, choose quads and also the tessellation mode to count okay now the count will be 200 okay and you can lower it down um, just uh, click on it and then you will get the polygon uh, shape so whenever you want you can basically first uh, you know uh, choose the nerves okay choose the nerves one now you can use the outliner for it and control H to hide it so whenever you want to work with it you will have it and that way you can you know edit uh, also the you can hide those nerve those curves also sorry those curves and hide them also using control H and you will will be left with uh, this polygon shape okay now if it's going to be a symmetrical uh, shape and you want this shape to be here what you have left to do is basically hold down the shift right click mirror it okay mirror polygon to uh, this I think this time it's mirror plus X no mirror minus X and then you will get this and by the way the mirror polygon uh, options you always have the opportunity to choose if uh, <clears throat> I think if to uh, 
you know, um, already merged those vertices. I'm not sure how. I remember I've saw this a long time ago. But you can choose whatever options. Yeah, mirror options. So you can choose if to merge uh, with the original the original uh, piece or not. Uh, it's really uh, you know it's really important to know what to do because sometimes when you're mirroring things in Maya, uh, you can get all those middle vertices attached to each other uh, in some sort of uh, you know uh, shapes. Um, but basically, this is pretty much how you work with the B rail and how you create sh shapes uh, easily. Uh, without trying to uh, you know uh, starting uh, edit the vertices and you know it can save you a lot of time using this B rail um, it's also good when you use with image planes while you are modeling and you like to uh, you know create a curve uh, of a shape that it's uh, highly uh, high possibility for you know uh, being very hard to re shape it so you can use this method and it will make your life much more easier um, that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this part of tutorial um, you know civil curve tool uh, is used as for many other things and this time it's just the B rail tool um, I already posted a few other things that you can do with curves uh, it's not the only thing but uh, it's just one more tool that I, I want you to be aware of and that's it so I hope you enjoy if you liked it so you can click like on the video comment and if you haven't already subscribed so make sure you subscribe also there is a Facebook fan page where which you can um, come visit and you know drop some comments or suggestions or whatever you like and that's it have a nice day and see you